Morning everybody. What a fantastic morning it is this morning. So I'm up here on Ilkley Moor here in the Yorkshire Dales and the heather is purple and I can hear the sound of grouse. So I'm here today, I'm going to spend the entire day here photographing grouse and what other wildlife I may come across. I'm going to do probably a couple of miles walking at least and um, go across the tops here. Um, last time I was here I saw the red kites, that was really nice to see. Um, but this morning um, the mist is slowly clearing um, so I'm going to get my camera out, get down into the uh, lovely purple heather and hopefully get some grouse sticking their heads out. So follow me today as I photograph some red grouse on the Yorkshire Moors. Well, hopefully the sun's going to come up in the next 10, 15, 20 minutes. Um, unfortunately, there's a bit of a bank of cloud um, on the horizon over in the east this morning. So there are plenty of grouse. There's, there's, there's literally grouse everywhere. Um, it's still just a bit dim um, to photograph. And with it being a lot of moisture and, and haze, sort of mist in the, in the air, it's just making the images a bit grainy at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head off up to a area up here, which is a, like a, an area with some big stones. And I'm going to get myself camouflaged up and find a little spot in the heather and sit and wait for the grouse to come in. Um, the heather's beautiful, lovely and purple. Um, so that's, that's a plus. Um, last time I was here, I think, ooh, Back in March, maybe April, um, I was here for the mating season, I think it was, April, May. Um, and there were grass everywhere then, had a fantastic day. Um, so yeah, looking forward to a good day today. So I'm gonna make my way up to these rocks and get nestled in and wait for the grouse and the sun to make an appearance. say that uh, dawn and dusk are my two favourite times of the day. So I've just got a grass here that stood on a rock. The only problem is it's still a little bit misty. I've got this mist that's rolling in over the hills here. But it is perfectly placed. Just perfect. On a rock. Heather in front of it. All blurry behind it. What a picture. I've, I've took a picture. Here it is. Uh, but it is very misty. And you can only just make out the pheasant. Pheasant grass. Um, so I'm hoping this mist is going to back off and that the grass will stay where it is. I mean, it is brightening up. The sun's not far off from uh, breaching the clouds. And I need this grass to stay where it is. Let's just wait and see. Well, it's not been a bad morning so far. Um, the midges this morning are horrendous. Um, so just in this sort of area here, a bit further, they're not too bad, but yeah, they're absolutely horrendous this morning. So I've just uh, come out to the car and covered myself in midge spray. Um, I've also just come back because I'm going to have some breakfast now and a cup of coffee. Um, and then I'm going to make my way across the moor and settle in somewhere. It's not been too bad a morning, seen plenty of grouse um, at a distance. Got a couple of photos, nothing too great yet. Fortunately, the mist is all cleared. 
um, but it is a bit cloudy so I'm hoping that will burn off as the morning wears on. It's only, what time are we at now? So it's just gone 8 o'clock so I've only been here a um, couple of hours uh, just having a look around but yeah there's plenty of grouse and I'm going to crack on and have something to eat. so he can see me and it's not moving so hopefully I'm going to get the shot that I wanted to come out for and that was with the grouse sticking its head out of the heather so let's see if we can get it So sticking his head up about that much from the heather. Ah. 
really doesn't seem to be too phased about me at all. My God, there are so many midges. Well, the weather's taken a bit of a turn. It's still a bit muggy, plenty of flies around. Um, Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, so this just happened. So yeah, that just happened over here behind me. Um, unbelievable. I thought it was actually gonna come down and touch the ground, but uh, you don't see that every day in the UK. But anyway, I'm gonna go for a little walk now um, around these woods um, to see what I can find. It's very, very quiet now. I can't even hear a grouse. I haven't heard a grouse for about two hours. Um, but it's just a matter of persevering and looking and dealing with the one million and one midges. So anyway, I'll crack on. Well, it's been six hours and I think I've done a, a good four mile walk, um, walking around the moors here. And I've seen, how many grouse have seen? Two, <laughs> two, two red grouse. Um, so yeah, so it's been tough going. I mean, they are just so well hidden, so well camouflaged. And I mean, there's a, a couple of female red grouse over here and they'll literally stick the head up which is about that big um, and they just watch and if you get too close they're off um, so yeah binoculars have been a big help today basically just like sat and then just just scouring the heather and waiting and watching and seeing if the uh, for any movement at all um, seen a couple of kestrels and saw a sparrowhawk um, chasing a bird absolutely fantastic to watch that didn't catch the bird the bird took to the to the heather um, and hid um, but yeah that was that was pretty impressive to watch um, but now it's now half past three midges have abated quite a bit so that's quite uh, quite good but I'm going to just hang it out for another couple of hours um, see how it goes and hopefully uh, get a few grouse coming in but yeah it's it's a tough bird to photograph um, especially up here I mean it may be that other parts other parts of the moors 
um, around the UK are much more abundant in red grouse. Um, but it's been hard work here today, but good all the same. And uh, hopefully, um, I'll only know once I get home and have a look through the images, but I think I got the shot that I wanted to get. Um, so I'm happy with that. But and I get a drink and lay down and wait for the red grouse, hopefully. Holy moly, the things we put up with just to get a picture of a red grouse. Oh my gosh. Look at this, this is horrendous. But that red grouse is still there. Well, I think I'm going to call it a day here now. Um, the midges have come back and I've not seen any grouse now for another hour. Um, but I am happy. I've just had a look through uh, the images on the back of the camera just to make sure. And I'm happy with the shot. It's a shot I've wanted for a long time um, since I first came here. Um, I started photographing the grouse back in I think April, I need to see when the video was. So I'll put the link to that video up here now for you. Um, but no, that was absolutely fantastic day today. Um, could have done without the midges. Um, but yeah, good day. Achieved what I wanted to achieve. But it was hard work. If you come out photographing grouse, I think there must be one of the hardest birds to photograph on foot um, to even sort of get close to. Oh God, the midges, it's horrendous. Um, but no, thanks for watching guys. I need to go, I can't bear this any longer. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, give it a like, and I'll see you on the next video, hopefully midge free. Ah.